place. It's been a rough couple of days again. Um, not, um, borderline issues. <laughs> I'm kind of hormonal, but I was on the pill not that long ago, and since then, I haven't had uh, a cycle. Um, and I was expecting them to come back once I stopped taking the pill, but now I'm taking quetiapine, quetiapine, and they can also stop your monthly cycle. So I'm not actually getting the uh, actual period. I'm getting the symptoms of the cramps, um, the the weepiness. Although um, that I didn't, I haven't really been weepy since Wednesday. Um, um, but I've been kind of depressed, but not in a a mental health way if that makes sense i mean it's definitely hormonal um it just sucks that um i mean i don't know how long this is gonna last because usually this is pre-menstrual tension but if i don't get the actual menstruation then, um, who knows how long the pre-MS can go on for. Um, but yes, yeah, so, I don't know, I'm just, the last two days has just been a pretty, um, well, I've been down, not depressed, but hormonal <laughs> um and yeah my husband isn't feeling well he's not felt great for the last two days and i mean he's sick anyway with colitis but he's particularly felt sick over the last two days and i guess it's kind of built up a lot of tension because we've um, when we were not feeling well, well, we were barely talk to each other. So, I don't know, it just creates an atmosphere where it's just like, hmm, okay, well, he's not talking. <laughs> and, and he'll ask me, uh, he'll ask me, um, why, you know, you're quiet, why are you quiet? And I'm like, no, you're quiet, but... I don't know. But yeah, I'm very irritable and I snapped at Hubby. We argued. Um, first time in a long time we've argued. But neither of us are feeling very well. So it's Saturday night. It's about 11.20, I think. I don't usually come to bed this early on a Saturday. I usually, we usually stay up until about 3 a.m. And I did actually have an appointment at 3 a.m. with um, one of my clients. But I've um, blown them off. And I've come to bed because when I'm in this kind of mood, it is definitely the best place for me. Just to like, have some space and relaxation and just... Yeah, just relax. And hopefully I'll wake up in the morning in a better mood. But oh, I did talk to my bestie a little bit today. I hadn't spoken to her for a while. I've kind of avoided, well, not avoided Facebook, but I'm not on Facebook that often. And that is um, how she's been uh, contacting me. Um... Like, 
tagging me in posts and stuff. And she tagged me in this really nice one saying that um, she hasn't spoken to me for a while but she still loves me and it's like oh. <laughs> so we talked for a while and I was telling her about all of the horrific side effects that I was getting and yeah so it was nice to talk to her. So I really need to meet up with her and our best other bestie, um, Claire, because I haven't seen them for a long, long time now. We usually make way more of an effort, but I've not been well this year. And both Jill's, my bestie, and my other bestie, Claire, have um, children. So, yeah. Life is hectic, but... I'm sorry that it's just a black screen. I am just lying in the dark because I got a, a bit of a migraine coming. Um, <clears throat> so I really could not deal with the light on. So you're just gonna have to get. Um, you're just gonna have to have a black screen, but. Yeah. Okay, so I have taken my quetiapine for the night and I have suddenly started to feel really, really sleepy. So I'm going to go to sleep. I just wanted to document um, my moods. Um, just like I always do. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Um, Mm -hmm. Bye, lovelies.